Obviously, the arbitrage deal with Son. What AMC currently loses is a price value is... Ape Games. What the heck I'm even talking about? The Super Master that was actually selected from the court to identify is the settlement in terms of regulations and satisfying the needs of the investors. Well, Amato's report dated June 21st. The Special Master concludes that they actually accept the settlement and deny each objection of the settlement. Meaning the, the court will be moving forward with the agenda that was voted on the meeting. Meaning, most likely, in the next couple of weeks, we're going to have implementation of the actual reverse stock split, point number one. We're going to have implementation of the conversion of the APE into AMC, something that you probably already know, looking at the price action, APE up 12, 13, 14% versus AMC down 7, 8, 9%, right? So the arbitrage deal is already in play. RIP, all institutional investors who saw the ape during the last two three months you know what i'm even talking about right ape is up 12 percent so they lost they missed all these gains potential on top of that uh, we're seeing that we might actually get closer to absolute parity between both securities we might see ape going close to three dollars amc for under four hours which is very likely and possible which at the end of the day might not make so much sense if you play the arbitrage deal, right? I want you to pay very close attention to this. The larger the spread between the both securities, APE and AMC is, the more trading activity will be. If this particular spread crashes, if there is no spread in between, there won't be anyone pursuing any arbitrage deal. So this is why as long as the AMC holds about 4 hours, as long as the APE is trading at or around 2 hours, there is still 2 hours spread theoretically but as we saw over here this is a clear message from the special master and most likely this will be the final decision and the implementation of the court there won't be any other objection i'm not sure if they actually can do other objections and probably have to file another different lawsuit but the, the main point over here is that it's very obvious what is the next step over here guys the betting from the chart itself it's hard to tell when and if amc actually bought them like I mentioned, it's very likely if we see even more dumps and we see more put options betting against AMC2, see AMC falling under 4 hours. Meaning that people who are after the day trade, after the swing trade, after capitalization of this particular arbitrage, they don't have to, you know, buy into the APE. They could simply know that AMC will go lower most likely and they will be placing bets against AMC. Uh, bad news, they, there is no co-options on the APE. If that was the case, they will be betting on the APE as well, most likely. So the idea over here is that this is very obvious trade. Very obvious trade brings a lot of volatility. You see the volumes today, unlikely, right? For the last couple of weeks, we, we haven't seen volumes like this. So the expectations are that there are many people who were not part of this trade for, for quite some time now. They're just popping up. And I don't believe these people actually care about either APE or AMC. They just care about the short-term gains. Again, some people are saying that the actual conversion and the reverse stock split might take place later in July. No one knows exactly what type of process. Well, no. If was up to Adam Aaron and AMC, they will be acting as fast as possible. They want to clear up that. They want to issue more APEs. They want to finish with the conversion. Uh, they want to change the balance sheets okay but i mean guys let me know uh did you expect the opposite i i was very sure that the, the special master will actually deny the objections uh, i was sure that uh, the conversion after the actual vote will happen uh, because this is how how influential the whole you know votes and and how the representation of of the actual importance for the racing capital for amc is and Reading through the comments prior the vote, after the vote, uh, after the objection, uh, like majority of the people were, uh, you know, concerned about the price action. But I believe we all knew that Ape will essentially go higher if we see the uh, denial and the proceeding for the settlement, and we all knew that uh, essentially MC will go lower. That was not a surprise. I hope Adam Aaron later today brings much more light on the table and explains what uh, will be the next step of the company and will the company has to consult with the court or, or whatever because the final decision will start the implementation of the process. Yeah.